As soon as the dispatcher will find another MMM participant whom you should send your help to, you will have an assignment appeared on your dashboard right there. Make sure to check your dashboard regularly after you have created the request to provide help as you will have a limited time window to complete the assignment, after which your account will be blocked in case you didn't make it on time. So to avoid that, check your MMM account and email regularly. In the assignment window if you click on it you will see the details that you need in order to send the payment so you'll see the bitcoin address of the receiver so i'm going to go ahead and copy it because we will need it you'll see a manual on how to use bitcoin in case you don't know yet you'll see as well the recipient's name probably email phone number if you need to get in contact in order to arrange the, the sending of your help or if there are any issues as well, you can see the recipient's guider. So as well, you will see in the assignment window that there is a little circle. If you click on it, you'll see three options. I consent to make payment. I completed this payment is after you have done already uh, the payment. And I refuse to make money transfer in case you have serious reasons of not doing that. Click on it and give your explanations to the team to know about it. So meanwhile, I will consent to make the payment. I click OK. You'll see as well here that for execution, you uh, remains 34 hours. So it gives you the system gives you 36 hours in order to make the help to execute the help, and it will always show here how much is left. As well, you have the Messages tab where you can speak with the recipient. For example, you can write, I will do the payment tomorrow or right now. Yeah, and click Send. So you are able even to communicate with him or her right here, which is very comfortable. Other than that, you'll see as well the amount in Bitcoins that you need to send to the recipient. So I'll go to my Bitcoin wallet in order to send the help. I'm using blockchain. So right here I have to go on to send money. There are different ways you can send your, your Bitcoins, different uh, websites and so on. It's up to you the one you choose. So right here where is T, I'm copy pasting the block of the Bitcoin address and make sure to make it right from the start. So, for example, the first is 13 and the last is and something. So I can, just to make sure you're sending to the right place, you can go back and see MUG. Probably is MUG there. You cannot see it here. And in the Bitcoin space, as well, click on that and copy the exact amount of Bitcoins. In order to copy it, by the way, you can click on Ctrl C or you can click on the left side of your mouse and click Copy. And I'm going to introduce it right there. Here you are. Um, I'm not having Bitcoins in my wallet at the moment. I'm doing it just for the tutorial. So after you have done that, click on Send Payment. And after you click on Send Payment, usually in your wallet, you'll be able to see all your transactions. For some reason, blockchain wiped out, cleaned all my transactions off of just a few hours ago. It was all here. However, what you need to know is that you need to make a screenshot of as a proof that you have sent the money. As I said, if you send the money, if you're even in another wallet, you will have some part of it which will show that you have really sent the money to. So you can use the print screen button from your board in order to make the screenshot. I'm using Lightshot. It's a program that you can download online. So imagine the transaction is written right here. You just have to take it like that and save it. So here I have a screenshot. I'll just write provide help one. And you can choose from here the folder you want to attach it to, to save it. Click on save. So now let's go back to our dashboard. Now because we have completed the payment, click on the little blue circle 
and write I completed this payment. Next, you need to simply follow the instructions. So you need, as it's written here, to attach an image confirming the transaction and you can also write some transaction comments. So if you click on Browse File, you can go into your documents where you saved it. Provide help right here. Click Open. Good. Now if you go down, click on Next, right there, and again click Next. It might take some time, some time for it to think. So here you go, congratulations, you did it. Now you can see that the little circle here, it's half green. It will tell it will turn all green after this the receiver will confirm the receipt of funds. And if you'll go to the Mavro section, you can see that at the moment the funds are unconfirmed. However, as soon as the receiver will confirm the funds, you will see here that it will be written confirmed, which means that from that moment your contribution to the MMN community will be marked as confirmed. That's it, is as simple as that. Thank you for watching.